Hi, welcome back to another Princess Connect video. We just crossed 300 subs, so thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. I'm having a great time making these and I'm glad you guys are enjoying it and getting something out of it. So I'll just shut up now and today let's talk about the very hard dungeon cheese. So this was actually brought to my attention by a Reddit post by Tamias on, I'll drop the link down below. I've also had a look through a bunch of JP resources and pretty much everyone recommends clearing it like this, especially because it gives you so much from the dumpling furniture, which gives you stamina to the coins, to the mana, it's just really good. There are actually a lot of like micro decisions that we have to make while we go through it and some mechanics to look out for, so do pay attention. So the prerequisites that Tamaya stated in his post were like level 52 with full R7 gears, right? For me personally, I couldn't do it at that kind of baseline. So I actually had to go a bit further to like level 55 or R7 gear and like almost full refines. Okay, so the strategy itself kind of takes advantage of the idea that when you time out in a dungeon, you don't actually lose like completely. You end up back at the start of the dungeon. The damage that you dealt to the boss will stay there. It will persist. And the HP and TP that you had when it timed out will also persist. What this really means is that we can actually run a super tanky comp with a whole bunch of sustain and just chip away at the boss. This does mean that it takes quite a few runs, but it's better than not being able to do it, especially for the income of the dungeon coins. Okay, so let's get into it. So there are primarily two comps that people run. It's one tank and four healers or two tanks and three healers. But the core units for this, the strategy, it revolves around Yukari, Chika, and Yui. Yukari for the heals, for the TP gain, really mainly her Union Burst because her Union Burst gives a magic shield which will guard against the boss's like big AOE magic damage. It's It really hurts. Without it, your team pretty much just dies. Yui and Chika just for their big AOE heals. So today I'm gonna to be running the two tank, three healer comp and these are the units that I'll be using. So let's start off with Nozomi. You can see that I've almost got max refines on her. Next, I'll be using Miyako who has quite a few refines. Yukari, a whole bunch of refines there as well. And Yui with a whole bunch of refines there as well. So you notice that actually my gold ones are maxed out completely or a whole bunch of them. So what I actually did for this is I actually went home, went into the shop, went into the normal shop, and actually bought out these guys, right? The superior refinement crystals. And the reason why is because six of these superior refinement crystals gets your yellow equipment straight up to refinement five. So yeah, definitely highly recommend slamming these refinements if, if that's what it takes to help you clear it. So hopefully you've gotten up to the boss. You can see he's level 80, about to get cheesed. And your units should be full health. There's not really any excuse. You can kind of run like the tank healer comp all the way through to the end just to maintain that HP. So obviously I want to swap Shiori out and I'm going to be taking my clan mates Look at that chica, 66, that's big. All right, so it does cost 50 mana, but you make it all back like and three times more if you can clear this boss. All right, with that being said, let's just give it a shot. So the first thing to watch out for is actually, he doesn't, he does a big physical damage move here. What I'm really scared of is when he does a silence. So, oh, when he when he's doing a silence, he was kind of doing that thing. And then I want to shield there. And then I also want to top up and make sure that everyone is healed because after the silence, in about one or two attacks, he's going to do the big AoE damage. So you can see, oh no, my Miyako doesn't have the magic shield, but everyone else does. This is it. And everyone lives. All right, let's top up, top up, top up everyone. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, so I want my Nozomi to tank a bit because my Miyako is getting a bit low. Um, Yeah, obviously play on one time speed because it's, yeah, the shit's like, shit, this shit's real sweaty, man. All right, so what I really need is another heal up. And I need to, after his silence again, I need to be able to, oh, I missed it. Okay. Hopefully that's okay. Hopefully my Yukari's shield is enough um, to block the damage. If not, I just have to restart. Let's see where we go. All right. I think Nozomi will be able to tank that. Okay. It's probably going to come right after this. Ah, okay. Okay. And then we restart. <laughs> you can't you can't let any units die. So let's see how many runs this takes me. So last time I did it, it actually took like an hour to clear it. <laughs> see the silence, I'm doing that. And then I'm gonna hit once, hit twice, and then heal. And then Miyako heal as well. And then he should be doing that move soon. Very, very soon. Heal again. we go okay we need a taunt because my Miyako is about to die come on Miyako live 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 uh, and I really need these heals up oh 
Come on, give me the heals, man. Give me that juice. Heal. I need like another heal or I'm 100% going to die. Need that heal and I need the shield. Give me the heal, give me the heal, give me the heal. All right. I might be able to make this. I might be able to live through this. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Up. Miyako up. Nozomi tank. And my two healers need to heal. I need to top up real fast. I need to top up ASAP. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Okay, that was the silence. I need to heal again and get Yukari's shield again. Okay, Yukari's healing. Okay. Silence. I'm going to block it and I'm going to heal. Wait, that was in the silence. Whoops. Okay, that might have been my blunder. But now we're up here. Okay, so he's actually almost going to do his AoE magic attack. So what this means is that we might have to actually sacrifice a couple of our other units to tank it. So it's just knowing his moveset and knowing where he is at with his attack pattern because his attack pattern actually saves from where you left off when it timed out. So what he's going to do is he's going to slam his fist, which is going to do AoE damage to my three frontliners, and then he is going to do the big blast. So what I need to do before then is the best I can do now is heal uh, because I don't have Yukari and make sure that everyone is as topped up as possible. So I'm almost actually halfway through. I know it's a lot of suffering, but at the very least, you should get the first clear to get that dumpling thing because it's going to it's going to actually give you so much stamina in the long run. So my Nozomi is half health. I don't want to taunt straight up. Um, I have a feeling that he might do the big burst. If he does, I'm going to switch out and let someone else take it. So I don't want to I don't want to do that yet. Yeah, OK. I don't, I don't want that. I, that's like, yes, I can top that up, but to have an easier time for me, I'd rather go sacrifice somebody else. I just, I don't know how many times I'm going to have to sacrifice. So let's just play it safe. All right. Here, here he dies. Ding, ding, ding. All right. So now we're back to the start of the rotation. We just need to, we just need to remember and remember what to do. So 66598, I think we're actually almost there. We're very, very close. Okay, so I have Yukari's UB. Don't use it wastefully, telling myself that. <laughs> All right, so let's kill. Yep, and then heal. And then I'm going to take tanking here. Okay. I need, I need that second top up. I need that second top up very desperately. So again, using this for silence. Could have waited until he slammed one more time, but that's okay. Silence, there we go. So important to block that silence. See, look at that. It's because I blocked it, she was able to heal her. Okay, this should be fine. Miyako should be fine. Okay, heal, top up, and then Miyako heal up as well. And then I can switch tanking to Nozomi. Let's go. Okay, she just attacked. She was not in a skill. I just need a top up now. Top up. I don't think Huey was in a skill, so I should be okay. All right, I don't think I'll have enough for... I don't think I'll make it. I think his next skill is... Oh, no. I'll make it. I'll make it. Okay. Should be silence now. <laughs> what the... Okay, whatever. I should be fine. I should be fine. Like, he's so low HP. So, I'm just gonna do this now because he's going to cast the big AoE. I should have healed. Okay. Let's see if I can finish him in 33 seconds. Uh, but you guys saw my mistake there, right? I was just too slow. I should have healed there. Yeah, he's like literally about to die. <sighs> this is stressful. So actually that took about like 20 minutes, to be honest. Um, 
and I'm a little bit over the prerequisites. But like to be honest, I'd play I'd play a lot safer because like the first time I did it, it was really really frustrating. So that's pretty nice rewards. 187k mana. That's that's that makes it back like almost four times, right? For borrowing the borrowing the clamates chica. 600 dungeon coins and all this. Oh, this is with the monthly, so I am getting double rewards. But even if you weren't getting double rewards, you still get 90k, which in which you make it back. God, it's really it's a little bit stressful now. But in the long run, it will pay off. All right, guys. Well, that brings me to the end of the video. That was, I'm getting like heart palpitations from that. Oh my gosh. So I hope that kind of helped you. The idea is that you kind of learn the boss move set. So remember that he first does attack a couple of times and then he does the physical fist AOE in the frontliner. So if you're actually running one tank and four healers, the four healers are actually at the back and only the one tank will take that hit. So it's actually not as stressful. So if you are able to actually run like Yukari with like Maho, Chika and Yui and just one tank, I reckon that's a better setup to go for but yeah so so back towards the attack pattern attack a couple of times aoe fist attack a couple more times silence but sometimes he goes silence straight into the aoe magic damage so what's so what's important is that if you can cast yukari's ub to block the silence so that they can keep using their skills because yukari has a heal and a tp boost miyako has a heal nozomi has an aoe heal chicken summons that fairy thing so that it takes like a hit or two like the silence actually really cucks you really hard if you can't get it off and you're kind of still almost full health then it's kind of okay because you can just make sure that you UB Yukari for the AoE magic burst that comes right after. And then from there, it just loops again. It just loops again. The other thing to remember from the action pattern is that when you time out, you need to remember where the boss was at with their actions, right? Like you saw what I did when I realized that he hadn't done the big AoE damage yet. I swapped a couple of people in to serve as sacrifices so that I could actually have a better round next round. Guys, I know it was a little bit scuffed, but I hope that this has helped you because it's more about the mechanics. It's more about knowing how to deal with the different things. Of the characters, everyone has Yui. A lot of people are going to have Chika and Nosomi is actually extremely farmable via dungeon coins. So what you can do is that you can actually just refresh the shop until you get Nozomi so that you can clear this ASAP. Miyako is a little bit harder to get, but if I was to go with Miyako or Maho, I'd probably pick the Maho route. This one, this one is very stressful The AOE damage. All right, so that kind of brings me to the end of the video. Secret message, Yukari, UB, 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 UB. <laughs> so I'd really appreciate it if you drop that secret message down below in the comments because it tells me that you watched till the end. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I'd appreciate it if you subbed, followed, liked. Yeah, I still can't remember what, what the interactions are, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.